Wow, what a day. Wow. What a finale to an amazing experience today. This is definitely the life I ordered. Can it just stay like this? I love all of the Bahamas, but the Exumas with the white sand and the glowing turquoise water, there's nothing like it. I love the Exumas. I feel like I'm back home. When last we left you, we were in the Abacos Islands, getting a few things taken care of, rescued by some friends with some much needed parts. On the show today, we'll be taking you to the Exumas by way of Eleuthera. Getting a nice early start. Sun's gonna come up in about 45 minutes and we're gonna make our push down to Eleuthera. Hopefully we'll get to a sheltered area to await a fairly strong blow that's coming in in a couple days. Okay, I'm going to work. All right, gonna raise the anchor. definitely tell a big difference with this sail. It's a lot lighter and I think uh, we measured it's about this this new sail is about 30 kilos lighter. I can raise it about three-quarters of the way just by hand just pulling on it. So weight makes a big difference. Our street continues. Good job, fish. <laughs> you did it. One fish, zero clarity. We hooked up two fish today. Good job, Nick. You got one in. Yeah, yeah, got a barracuda. So the street <laughs> continues. We still have not been able to land a tasty fish. What you doing? Doing bacon and eggs with a little cheesy, chippy, Hot sauce. Ooh. Brunch. Brunch? Brunch. I love brunch. <laughs> brunch underway. Heck of a nice sail, huh? Yeah, perfect. Wish we could keep going. You want to keep going? <laughs> yeah. Where should we keep going to? Bon air? Bon air? I'll just tell your mom, sorry. <laughs> Rebook. Flying to Bon air.
look at this. The finished product. We got a pocket with Pfeiffer Techs. And inside we've got another pocket and it's lined with our old Sail Clarity bag. This is our new beach bag. Laundry bag, grocery bag. You ready to go to the beach? It is so gorgeous here. It's just hot and peaceful. Ah. Hey. It's nice or what? Yeah. Got the beach all to ourselves. Mm, and it smells really fresh. Really clean. It smells like green and ocean mixed. Ah, it is. <laughs> this is one of my favorite beaches. And this is Eleuthera. Just a nice sandy bottom beach. Well, we were just sitting having our afternoon coffee and started talking about when to go through current cut. And one possibility was tomorrow morning at four in the morning. And with no moon and super pitch black night, we decided spur of the moment to just go now. And that's just how it works sometimes. It's no joke. It's a really long, narrow cut. And you definitely need to time it at a slack water. Well, except for our little uh, Megyat friends, this is a pretty darn sweet place. Nothing against the Mega Yachts, just that you always have to have the jet skis, don't you, Mega Yachts? Always with the jet skis. being in a hurry. Just departed our anchorage about sunrise and it's a short hop today. We've got about 30 miles en route. It's gonna be light I think through most of the day. So light wind sail with not far to go. It's gonna be a relaxing one I hope. Imagine if all the sailing was like this. I think the swell is about four and a half inches. <laughs> We've got a true wind speed of 6.8 and we're going 4.9. Pretty darn nice. I could do this all day, all night, forever. It doesn't get any better than this, really. It's Absolutely perfect. Perfect temperatures, perfect breeze, perfect sails. I love it. Perfect is a very good description. Can we just bottle this up? We find ourselves in lovely Ten Bay, which is in the crook or the corner, the nook, the elbow, whatever it is, of Eleuthera Island. And Tembe's got a nice wide beach. And as we were warned on Active Captain, tourists are afoot. I see white bodies. Who's that? My friend. Hello. I see a little tongue. Or is that, that's his foot. That's his foot. He's got a pretty shell. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> so I'm working on this project. We lost this cushion at sea. Very sad. This little wedge went off to sea in the frying pan shoals. So now I'm making a pattern. And somehow <laughs> now we have to take these pieces of closed cell foam and mix them together into this pattern. 
it's going to be a bit of a puzzle. All right, this is the Franken, Franken cushion. This cushion is made up of, shall we count? One, two, three, four, five. And this is one. Yeah. Okay, so there's seven. It's going to need lots of glue. And <laughs> it's just barely going to fit. Nice. From the outside, you'll never know. <laughs> unless you watch this video. Just can't believe I had enough fabric to make one more cushion. It's a miracle. If it would have been any other cushion that went overboard, we would have a different color cushion. You know, we gotta have you glue some new uh, Velcro down. Okay. Now let's put two pieces in. You know, it's kind of surprising after all these miles, we haven't lost more things <laughs> overboard. I mean, what else have we lost Some overboard? Bucket. Lost a bucket. I feel bad uh, about the pollution. A shirt. Oh, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, just... Don't look too close at that. <laughs> Don't feel it. I would say, given the materials, that is a spectacular job. Are you really saying well don't done. look too close at my sewing job or at the actual cushion? Your sewing is very, very clean. Good job. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, don't look too close at my sewing. Really? It looks tight. Oh my God, calm down. Look at this water. I'm not going to need this stuff ever again. I got a few things I don't think I'll be needing for a little while as well. Something tells me I'm not going to be wearing any jeans or socks. morning we've decided to head south and we've got some favorable winds for sailing to the Exumas so we're gonna go for it before a southerly and a westerly sets in for next week so it's kind of exciting to go sailing it's like a beautiful day oh my god thank you I think it's the first time we said sail before having one sip of coffee cheers to that Sporting the old Kelly uh, style swag, I see. That's right. You gotta represent. <laughs> Let's see the back. Is that clarity sailing? We should probably uh, put the cushions away. Oh. <laughs> Especially my new cushion that doesn't have any Velcro yet. Well, it's a bit rough out here, but I actually feel great. I don't have any issues. Uh, I'm enjoying the nice warm sail. We're sailing pretty conservatively. Got double reef main, got double reef jib. I guess I'm just trying to keep the boat from getting super caked in salt. Um, <laughs> so we could, we could go a lot faster if we wanted to, but eh, it's a 30 mile ride. No need to, no need to light the afterburners now. I think we timed this right. Should have a, a flood tide, tide's going in. And we need it because it is, it's ruckus out here. The seas, mostly six foot, but we've seen a couple eights. Yeah, we're uh, surfing down some big ones. So it'll be good to get in that cut. Yeah, it's gonna feel like a lake in there, I think. <laughs> All right, let's put these cameras away. We got our life jackets on. About a half hour from our grand arrival. Hopefully not too spectacular. Look at that 
All of the Bahamas but the Exumas with the white sand and the glowing turquoise water there's nothing like it the raggeds might, <laughs> might be like it but I love the Exumas I feel like I'm back home oh, so good to be here <laughs> it's so good that we have to celebrate with pizza that was a rough passage it wasn't that long I didn't get sick, we didn't drop any cameras, got very salty, but then surprisingly we anchored and a huge rain shower came over and washed away all the salt. What about that for timing? Are you going to bury the secret story that we probably won't ever tell? Yes. This will be for patrons only. We passed right by La Vagabond. They were anchored in the channel near Rachel's bubble bath. And we didn't see them. I saw a bobbing Darwin's head in the doorway. That's the baby? Yeah. And uh, and then they came and anchored near us. So they're probably going to stop by and see if they can have some pizza. <laughs> I don't know. That's my guess. Oh, I tell you. This anchorage is well earned. We're at the north end of Pipe Key. Pipe Creek. Pipe Key. And this is a spot that most people don't head into because it's really shallow. Oh, wow. That looks good. <laughs> We're back to keto, baby. Sun dried really tomatoes, onion, pepperoni, parmesan me. You're welcome. Thank you. Hot shower, hot pizza, movie time. This area known as Pipe Creek isn't a creek at all. It's just a bunch of sand flats and shallows in between a whole bunch of small islands and keys. Some pretty tough navigation. Extremely shallow and a lot of places to get in trouble with the current. Flying the drone to check out a new route, we saw something extremely cool. We spotted the shy and somewhat elusive spotted eagle ray. bigger than the dinghy and just gliding along she looked up at me and I thought just keep going <laughs> and she did and then I just followed behind her her tail was so long probably I don't know 12 feet long so I didn't want to dive down on her because uh, she could have just flung it up on me spectacular This is what it's all about right here, baby. But the current was kind of ripping, so I didn't want to go too far out with her. And she finally just took off, got her speed up and flew away. 
It's funny, you look at the current, you look at the water and it doesn't look like the current's moving much, but it really is ripping out. It's, it's deceiving. Look at these birds. Wow, what a day. Wow, what a finale to an amazing experience today. This is definitely the life I ordered. Can it just stay like this? With the full moon and light winds, <laughs> no bugs. Swimming with a spotted eagle ray. That was pretty sweet. That's amazing. I didn't really have any expectations for a little jaunt out today. I didn't either. And then all of a sudden we see this huge black blob and we followed it and it kind of circled us and we parked the dinghy and hopped in and I was swimming side by side with her for a while and I felt like we were swimming in a pool, a swimming pool. And then I was just off to her right side and she then turned and she's just like, hey, what are you? And she started coming towards me. But while I was swimming next to her, I just, all I could think was thank you, thank you, thank you. This is the most amazing experience and I'm so grateful that I'm swimming next to a spotted eagle ray. I'm able to watch as her wings just float through the water. You know, dolphins are my favorite. But I gotta say, the spotted eagle ray, it's right up there with the dolphin. Because of those wings and her, the way that they move through the water, it's really, really graceful and serene and a lot slower than a dolphin. Dolphins are a little more manic. Yeah. Dolphins are like, this way, no, this way. Yeah. I'm going up, no, I'm going down. Yeah. These guys are more like, I'm just going to hover over here, and I'm going to hover over there. It's truly amazing footage. Like Pipe Creek is really Pipe remarkable. Creek is awesome. Remarkable. I feel like it's this little secret. You have to come in at high tide to get to this little spot. And there's no one else around, and you got protection from all around. And I think that because it's hard to get to, nobody tries. Nope.